Okay, so uh, things around financial decisions and money making. This is one of the things, when I, when I was really, really ill in active addiction, and the idea of my life depended on getting a spiritual connection and staying absent and working a spiritual program, and getting that connection to God, and there's this thing of, of money. And I found, I wanted to share, I, was, I knew from my spiritual work that when you embark upon spiritual work, you'll be tested. You'll be tested as to, as to your faith in pursuing the spiritual. And it's like if you've got a spiritual practice, like lots of things will come in your way why you should abandon your spiritual practice. For, you know, you've, got, you've got an intense job, so just abandon your spiritual practice or you might, whatever. And when I, um, when I started doing the uh, spiritual work, I was going to 12-step meetings and doing that uh, work. And my parents, my mother was really angry. She thought I was going to a cult and said that I should stop going. But I continued to go. And even though the situation was really, really bad and I might have had to have left the house, um, I carried on going. And it was like there was a test of faith. And then it sort of all went well, you know, after I stuck to my guns and I passed that test. Then I remember, um, hi, hi. And then I remember, um, this is Hello. Are we okay? I'm on camera. Was that all right? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, I was just sort of saying, because anything comes recorded, that's what I'm saying, it's your voices. Um, and, um, yeah, and then my father, I didn't, you know, I thought, I'm going to do these meetings. And then my father offered me uh, a job working in his B&B. And I was doing that B&B. And so I was in charge of it. So I'd leave the B&B every day, every lunchtime, to go to a 12-step meeting. And I'd turn down hundreds of pounds worth of business. And I did this for a couple of years. So I was earning about £800 to £1,500 a month because I was always going to these spiritual groups and turning a lot of business down. But I said, I will not abandon my spiritual practice, even if you know, you know, it hardly makes any money, I just have enough money to live. And then after two years, I did that, com completely uh, put money second. And then one of the guys came into the business who used to introduce uh, customers and said, I'd like to take it over. And, and pay you rent to take over the B&B business. And my father negotiated £2,500 a month. And what happened then was I, I, I stopped working and we got more money for me doing, doing nothing. <laughs> so I just found this thing of like, if I put my spiritual practice and my spiritual connection before money, before my parents, things were getting better. There was a period of testing and fear. And then it was like the universe would reward you with more, t more money and, and, and more free time. So it's like you get more and more abundance, the more, but you'd go through these tests of fear. And I know that if I'd said, I haven't got time to do my spiritual practice because I've got to work non-stop, or I've got to stop my spiritual practice because my parents don't like it, I know that I'd have had a, a different life to the life I have now. So I just wanted to, to share that about money and putting spirituality first.